Okay, in this class today, I wanna to talk a little bit about the difference between fermented foods and probiotics. So most of you are likely very familiar with fermented foods. You've got yogurt, kefir, kombucha, sauerkraut, those types of things. Um, so this I will say, fermented foods are not probiotics. Now, I love fermented foods. They're super, super healthy for the gut. They offer compounds, truthfully, that you really can't get anywhere other than in fermented foods. They also have pre-digested nutrients that are loaded with good food for the gut but they're not probiotics. I do cringe a little bit when I hear people say, oh, I just get my probiotics from fermented foods. Now here's why. I'm gonna use the World Health Organization's um, definition of probiotics and here's what it is. It's this, that living microorganisms, when administered in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit to the host and they're living microorganisms. So in order for them to be alive, they've gotta go through a pretty large um, digestive tract. So let me tell you what I mean. Fermented foods have bacteria that actually ferment them, but those bacteria are not living to provide a benefit to the host in terms of where they arrive. So here's what I mean by that. A lot of time I wanna ask people, where does your body even use probiotics? And the answer is in the large intestine, a little bit in the small intestine. It's really the colon, the large intestine. So if you think about when you consume, let's take yogurt for example, that bacteria is killed in the stomach acids. If it's not killed in the stomach acids, it's gotta go through the bile salts, it's gotta go through the pancreatic enzymes, it's got a long journey to go to get to the large intestine. And that's where probiotics come in. These are healthy, living microorganisms that offer a benefit to the host by staying alive, ideally, all the way down to the large intestine. And that's where they offer the compounds that create and recolonize essentially that large, living, healthy bacteria that can offer a benefit to the host, which is obviously you guys. So fermented foods, I think they're fantastic. In an ideal world, we would have people that are eating fermented foods every day and taking a good quality probiotic.